to have to tackle that word first because yeah, I don't think I would have said it as well. It, it kicks off tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to say it again, though. <laughs> kicks off tonight uh, one of the culture-rich blocks of the City of Trees. I love Basque Festival. It is one of my favorite weekends of the year. But before Friends and Family Night begins tonight, Jay Bates is live this morning getting a little taste of the history, the culture, and the overall feel of the Basque block. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, you guys. That's right. This weekend is the big weekend here on the Basque Block, San Ignacio. We're here with Annie Gavica, who is on the board of directors for the, the Basque Center that kind of hosts everything. Give me an idea of, you know, the Basque Festival every year. It's a tradition here in Boise. Like, how many people are coming to town? How big of an event is this for the city? We have quite a few people coming into town to participate, as well as to just attend all the festivities. We estimate anywhere from two to 20 or 2,500 people, um, and we have singing and dancing and music and food and drink and sports, kind of something for everyone. So it should be a great time. And speaking of music and dancing, we have actually got a few of the ladies to wake up early for us this morning and do some dancing. So we're going to let them play for a bit as we chat here for a minute. Can you kind of describe who we've got going here and? You know, describe the style of dancing for me. Sure. We have um, in the dance section, we have the Uncatty Bass Dancers. They're a professional dance group that typically um, travels through the United States as well as abroad to perform. And then the musicians are part of Chan Chan Gorriak, which is a music group that started about 10, maybe almost 15 years ago now. And they play accordion and tambourine, a pretty traditional musical group. I, uh, there's a soft part of my heart for the accordion players because my parents made me play accordion as a kid. Notice I used the word made. <laughs> well, we might have to get you to play one again. Uh, that's probably going to happen. I don't know if the dancing's going to happen. That looks way too athletic for me, I will just say at this part of the morning. But <laughs> we're going to have much more from the Bass Block coming up all throughout the morning. We'll talk a little bit about, more about food, history, and so much more. It's all coming up later on Good Morning Idaho. There was literally clapping, of ex excited clapping in here when we found out Jay might play the accordion we for us. We really want you to, Jay. Should happen. All right, and just so you know, <laughs> we have a look back at our adventures from the Basque Block. It was from about a year ago, mm -hmm. around about this time, heading into San Ignacio. It's posted on our Facebook page, so just go ahead and like Good Morning Idaho. And Welcome back, everyone. Well, the San Ignacio Basque Festival, or Uskal Danak, it's pretty, it's pretty close, okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Send me a tweet, but I think that's close. Anyway, it kicks off tonight on one of the most culture-rich blocks in the entire city of trees. Yeah, but before friends and family night begins, Jay Bates is live this morning. Yep, he's getting a taste of the history, the culture, and the feel of the Basque block. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, you guys. That was pretty good, Rachel. I'm I'm very impressed with your. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt. Uscati. Is that how you'd say? Euskera. Hey, there you go. All right, all right. We are actually inside the, the Basque Museum right now, and Andy's going to kind of give us a tour. We'll walk around and talk about some of the exhibits that are in here. I know that one of the most important things, kind of wandering around reading about this, is sheep herding was huge for the Basque culture around here. Yeah, that's what got most of them here, um, the opportunity to make some money and didn't need any English skills in the beginning. And so that's how many of them came to Idaho and the West in general. So we we actually found one of Bree's friends hanging out down here inside the, the Basque Museum. So he, he says hi, just in case you wanted to know. Uh, I see the trailer. I still see the, the trailers all around Idaho, everywhere. It seems to still be a, a big part of the culture. Uh, it is. Now it's um, kind of migrated over to the Peruvian group. Those are the immigrants that are now coming up to do the same thing. But um, In here, a lot of the sports that are dedicated. Uh, many people have probably heard of the Boise Fronton. Tell me some of the sports that are, that are being played, not necessarily on iPads. Um, well, in the fronton, they play handball or escu, which is actually the game on the iPad, but it's just with your bare hands and a ball that's the consistency of a baseball. Or um, pala, they have with a wooden paddle and a rubber ball. And then the more common, well-known maybe, is a highlight with a basket attached to the end of your hand. And it's a very, very fast game and a little more dangerous. But those are the three main ones that you'd see in a court like these. Anybody who's ever watched Miami Vice knows what highlight is. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> All right, there's a lot more that we're going to go through. I promised we're going to try and learn a little bit about the accordion. We might do some dancing. All that's coming up a little bit later as San Ignacio gets going tonight here on the Bass Block. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, thanks, Jay. I cannot stop picturing Jay with the accordion and now dancing while he's playing. Mm -hmm. I don't know how Maybe we might see it. I'm doing it wrong. Coming and up soon. Maybe yeah. with the Calimocho in hand to cool you off.
perhaps there will be a lot of those flowing tonight. And Bates has done his fair share of sports reporting. Mm -hmm. I don't think, however, that he has ever reported on the sport that he's playing this morning in Boise. We like giving him <laughs> first of its kind mm -hmm. type thing. So he's on the Basque block right now, giving us a preview of ba the Basque Festival, which kicks off this weekend. And he's playing. He's playing a fun little sport. Yeah, you got to tell us about this, Jay, because I understand that the balls that they use in this sport are really hard and they hurt when they hit you. Yeah, hopefully we won't find out firsthand how hard the ball is when it hits you. But I will say that this looks a lot like the paddle that was hanging in Rachel's principal's office. So, all right. Uh, I am here with... Jacqueline. And? Jill. Jacqueline, Jill, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let you write the jokes at home. All right, they're going to teach me how to play Paula here, which I've already attempted and is really kind of hard. So let's start with... Jacqueline, tell me where we got to start from. You have to serve from behind the seven. So wait, so we got to go way back here. And then there's a wall way up there. So AJ, look at how far they want me to hit this ball. Look at that. You can use the kid's ball if you want to. I can use the kid's ball. Oh, they're, they're making me feel better. All right. And then once that happens, Jill, then what do I do? Okay, so once you serve it, then it's more of so a rally back and forth. So you can, it has to land behind the seven, and then you can just rally back and forth. So in a way, it's racquetball, only a lot harder. Yes, and better. <laughs> and better. Okay, I, we'll see about it. All right, I'm going to have you hold this, and I'm going to get this shot. Are you going to play against me, Jill? Okay. Sure. Okay, you ready? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't think it made it back all the way. But I you, you can do play-by-play -play of my awesome Paula skills here. What do you think so far? Okay, so a good attempt from the rookie player. Uh, are you from Boise? Out of Boise? <laughs> Almost made it in play. And that's, folks, is why we stick to dancing. <laughs> All right. So this is Paula, and um, I'm going to be playing this for the rest of the time. We're going to go back outside. We're going to do more dancing and music and have a lot more fun for the Bass Festival live here on Good Morning Idaho. Send it back to you guys. You've got some funny people out there with you, Jay. That's and I am finally redeemed for when we went golfing. I'm so glad that you missed that serve. Just got to say. Thanks, Oh, did Jay. he miss? I didn't miss. <laughs> did he miss? I think that was the only thing I did notice was that Jay missed the first time. So he did. He did. It's hard. That ball did not bounce like I thought it was going no. to. I mean, they're so hard. It's, it's like, like a rock. rock. <laughs> yeah, Jinx. All right, let's take you out to two hundred. Yeah, and it really will be beautiful this weekend for whatever you do, especially if you're outside. One thing you can do outside: take in the Basque Festival. It starts today and it runs through Sunday. Yeah, and Jay Bates has been taking in a lot of it really in just a matter of two hours. And the moment we've all been waiting for is to see Jay uh, learn a little bit of music. Good yeah. morning, Jay. She forgot she Good morning, you guys. Um, yeah, I've been really looking forward to this. If Santa Nascio is half as much fun as we've been having this morning, everyone should come out this weekend. It's great. I'm here with Olaya, correct? Uh -huh. And you are playing a? Tricky Trisha. That looks like an accordion to me. It is an accordion, but it's a Basque accordion. Oh, what is the difference? Well, this one's diatonic, so it's like a harmonica, how you said earlier. It's like playing a harmonica. It is, actually. There's two different notes on each button, so one button. <laughs> So it's two notes. Oh, interesting. All right. So what are, the the secret is, I played the accordion a long time ago. It was not a Basque accordion. I was not very good at it, and I was 10. So that's been a while, but give me some lessons here real quick. How, what do I need to do? So if you want to play Egyshada, which is one of the first songs we learn, you're going to put four fingers on here. Four fingers and hold a mic. The degree uh -huh. of difficulty is pretty good. <laughs> All right. Okay, you're going to hit the same note, the one that your middle finger's on, five times. And. <laughs> so good. There's not even I think there's sarcasm in your voice when you say that. No. All right, so I'm not going to play, but we're going to let them play and let the dancers go because we want everybody at home to not have to endure my accordion playing. So ladies, take it away for us here. And as we enjoy this, let's ask Annie one more time, when do things get going? 
tonight and tomorrow and Sunday? Come down to the Bass Block anytime after about 5.30 this evening, and you'll see um, some sports, have some great food, drink, meet some great people. And then Saturday, things kick off at about 11 o'clock on the street. All right. So all weekend long, Bass Block, if you are new to Boise and don't know where that is, that's in downtown on Grove Street. It's pretty easy to find. You will be able to see a lot of your fellow Boiseans hanging out all weekend. We've been having a great time this morning. We'll send it back in to you guys, but not before one last accordion solo just for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Literal music to my ears. He makes it Jay look Bates. so good. Television's Jay Bates, as one of our producers would say. I, oh, I nice. gotta say, I think that's one of the most fun live shots we've had in a while. That so. is fun. And the actual Bass Festival is really fun. If you have a chance, go down the street dancing that happens uh, Saturday evening. Literally just dance in the streets. Gosh, it's gonna it's be fun awesome. Live music, yeah. All right, at 651 right now, we're taking a live look at Boise from our Ford Dealers Tower Cam. We will be right back with our favorite moments of the week after the break. Take a listen to the river.